Hello, I'm Mimi. I've spent the last three years developing my art skills and becoming a self-employed artist and content creator. So today I want to share with you five things that I think are really helpful to know before starting an art business. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on that later. Number one, you'll never know everything before you start, so learn along the way. It's tempting to wait until the right time to get started, but sometimes the best way to learn things is to just get going and learn what you need along the way. That doesn't mean that you can't do some research and preparation first, but if you've been dreaming of having an art business and the only reason you haven't gotten started is because you think you don't know what you're doing, then get going and you'll start learning those skills that you need. You can only learn so much from other people's experiences and pre-planning. The main skills you need to be self-employed or run your own business can be learned as you go. It's natural to want to be good at something before we show it to the world, but if you're waiting for the perfect time when your art is amazing, then you'll be waiting forever because there is no perfect time. Art is subjective and there's always room for us artists to have insecurities and doubts about our art. So the chances of us waking up one day and deciding that today is the day that our art is perfect and can't be improved anymore is pretty unlikely. I spent most of my 20s thinking that one day I would have the skills to be an illustrator, but never really took any action on that, as if I thought that it would just happen or that tomorrow would be a better time. It wasn't until I just decided to start acting like I was an illustrator and draw a little something every day that I started actually developing the skills that I needed. Number two, if you're not excited to do the daily tasks, then it won't be sustainable. It's quite easy to want the outcome of something, but much harder to want to do the repetitive steps every day or every week that are needed to get there. If you want to be a full-time artist but don't want to spend time working on your art skills near enough every day, then it's going to be really hard for you to reach that outcome and maybe you just need some rethinking. The motivation for the outcome alone is usually not enough to push us to show up every day and work towards that outcome. And even if you can push through for a little while, it won't be very sustainable. A sustainable career or business is one that you're excited to do every day, not just one that you like the idea of as a job title. There are lots of ways you can have a small art business, so be sure to choose something that you're actually excited for. If you're excited to engage with people, then consider art classes or coaching. If you're excited to tell stories, consider picture book illustrating. Or if you're excited by conversations, then maybe an art podcast is the right fit for you. If you're looking for some guidance with learning new skills for your creative business or career, then I want to quickly tell you about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. They're an online learning platform with lots of amazing classes for creatives like us that can be a huge help whether you're looking to improve your digital art skills or learn how to build an illustration career. I just watched this class by Tiffany Emery called Etsy Launch, how to open an Etsy shop like a professional seller and found it so valuable for getting started on Etsy, but it also had loads of helpful information for established Etsy sellers like myself. She's a successful shop owner and takes us through how the algorithm works and how to start your own successful shop on the platform. And I'll be taking the things that I learned about tags and SEO to my own shop to help optimize it. There are lots of classes like this one from experienced creatives sharing their knowledge and the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get an entire one month free trial of Skillshare so you can watch this class and so many others. Use that one month of free access investing time in learning skills for your art business and to help you get the maximum benefit I've personally curated a list of classes that I've watched and think are really helpful. If you're wanting to create more art, I thought that these classes are really great to help you with that through different mediums or challenges. And if you're wanting to build your art income, then I thought that these classes had some really great foundations. Thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the tips. Number three, make sure that your expectations and deadlines are reasonable. It takes a long time to build something from scratch, whether that's your art skills, an audience on social media, or a collection of art prints. So be realistic about how long it will take you for you to start seeing results. Most people don't go viral overnight. 
So if you have slow and steady growth, how long will it take you to achieve your goals? If you expect yourself to reach your goals at a really ambitious speed, then you're putting yourself at risk of being disappointed when it just naturally takes longer. And when we're disappointed with ourselves or our situation, we normally want to give up, which would be a real shame. A big part of satisfaction and fulfillment in my experience is having reasonable expectations because when our expectations are met then we usually feel happy and when they aren't met we feel disappointed. We can't always control the outcome but we can control our expectations. I'm not necessarily saying that you should completely lower your expectations of yourself but definitely be realistic and kind about your expectations. Being satisfied with the results you're getting is a really great way to stay motivated and have a sustainable art practice or business. Number four, it takes a long time. So look at the big picture for a fresh perspective. There will be times when things are going well and progress is being made and there will inevitably be times when it feels like we're going backwards or things just aren't working. Growth isn't linear for anybody, and if you listen to any success stories of famous entrepreneurs, artists, or authors, they've all had wobbles and struggles along the way. When you're in a phase where it feels like things aren't growing, make sure you look at the big picture. Don't just look at where you're at right now, or even just your growth over the past two weeks. Look all the way back to the beginning and see how far you've come. Sometimes we just need some fresh perspective to see that what looks like a downward trend in new followers or our art skills is actually just a natural leveling off from all the growth that's been happening and is maybe just a small blip relative to how far we've come. It's going to be really hard not to feel emotionally involved with the analytics of your growth as a business because those analytics represent your hard work. So maintaining a long-term outlook can really help put those downward trends into perspective. I've had lots of times when my views are trending down or my patrons are lower than before or I earned less than the previous month. But like I said, growth isn't linear. You're still further along than when you started and sometimes when it looks like things are trending down, it's actually because it's coming off the back of some extra growth. Get a big picture perspective when things feel slow to help yourself stay positive and motivated because it's a long journey. And number five, it's not going to be easy and that's okay. It is difficult to build a small art business and I think it's healthy to start your journey with that understanding, but it's not going to hold you back because difficult doesn't mean impossible. If you want to build an art business or a content business or just be self-employed and you have a fire in you to achieve that, then that is absolutely worth fighting for. There will be plenty of challenges to overcome, but you can overcome anything. You can find free resources online to help you learn the skills you need. You can find communities of other people walking a similar path and you can be whatever you want to be. Lots of things that are worth having in life are difficult and that's kind of what makes them so valuable. Thanks so much for letting me share these five things to know when you're starting an art business. I love sharing videos with you so if you enjoyed it then give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!